Welcome everybody to another episode of Mortgage Insiders uh, Edition with myself, Kim Nguyen, and my co-host, Preet Singh, as always. Today, we're going to be talking about ways to pay down your mortgage faster, especially in an environment where, you know, rates are rising and we want to get ahead of the game. What are some things that we can do to kind of help pay down your mortgage and be mortgage-free faster and sooner? Absolutely. <laughs> so, so Preet, take it away here. Yeah, no, Kim, this is a very interesting topic. Uh, many clients basically ask this question, how much I can prepay in a calendar year or on an anniversary date? This question is the most asked question after the rate conversation, I would say, right? So, but the the I would say the other thing around the same question is that I'm always wondering like how many clients are actually using this prepayment feature when when they know they can basically prepay extra in the bank or the contract lenders contract is allowing them to prepay I would I would be very much like intrigued to know that kind of data if the lenders or the ben banks are willing to share right but coming to the main topic um, as as you said, the interest rates are rising, uh, and we have been seeing that in the last three four month window. It's we would always recommend that our clients stay on track with their amortization, which means the length of the mortgage, and they they should finish within the time frame. So the best uh, way to keep track on this one is either you increase your payment or if it is an adjustable pay, uh, mortgage, variable rate mortgage, if the bank changes its mind. If not, you should basically either dump more money into your mortgage if your pocket allows you or increase the payment, right? So lump sum payment is a standard uh, basically feature of all kinds of mortgages and the range starts from 10% to 20% normally. All lenders uh, basically provide you, right? So um, with what, what, what that will help is basically as soon as the client basically pays uh, extra money, lump sum money, that will give you some room on your mortgage. It will basically, you will be paying ahead and you will be ahead of the curve if the interest rates as of today, the interest rates are going up, right? So you would be ahead of the curve, right, Kim? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just to kind of recap for our listeners, you know, when you get a mortgage in Canada, there's mm -hmm. always prepayment privileges. That's kind of what we're referring to. And these yeah. prepayment privileges is essentially what you need to have in order to pay down your mortgage faster, okay? So the main one that we just talked about right there is the lump sum payment. So going off of what Preet had mentioned, again, depending on the lender that you're with, some lenders will have as little as 10% every year up to 20% every year. Mm -hmm. um, what and again, it will differ from lender to lender because even some of the lenders that we work with, they will only allow you to do a lump sum payment when it is the anniversary month. OK, so just be careful if you're someone in the market right now looking to get a mortgage and you really want to actively pay down your mortgage. It may be wise to let your mortgage professional know that you are interested in this lump sum and we need to stay away from those lenders that only allow you to do a lump sum payment on the anniversary month um, of when your mortgage closed. So an example is that right now, um, you know, let's say your mortgage closed closes in August, right? As an example, that means that if you have extra money and you want to apply it direct to your mortgage, you won't be able to do so until August of next year. And to keep in mind though, if you do forget to do that lump sum, you snooze, you lose. So again, mm -hmm. if you are interested in paying it down, maybe it makes sense to go with a lender that offers lump sum payments year round, right? That could yeah. be an option. Yeah. So it's, it's your point is that in case of an anniversary uh, type of lender, that if you miss it and you forget about it uh, as a client, then it's not carried forward. It's not carried to the next year. It that that year that prepayment privilege basically elapses. So, and the, as you said, the other lenders, I basically would also uh, personally like to have an option where I could prepay any time during the day year, right? So. It is as 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 we mentioned earlier, uh, starting from ten to let's say twenty percent. Let's say uh, it's twenty percent. I can prepay. Some lenders will basically allow you to uh, pay multiple um, amounts, multiple transactions in a year, starting from January first to December thirty first in a cal calendar year, and the minimum amount should be hundred dollars. 
Uh, you cannot go to the bank and say, OK, I have $50 extra. They have a minimum to basically add on for the transaction. So that will, in short, help you um, stay ahead of the curve on, mm -hmm. on the mortgage payments. If, if your mortgage payments are behind or let's say you just want to pay off the mortgage faster, then this is the most common way to use as a lump sum payment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, too, um, when you do apply a lump sum payment, it goes directly towards your principal. So one of the biggest myths that I hear is a lot of clients will say, oh, Kim, if I do a lump sum, it just goes towards interest. No, that is actually not true. The money that you apply on top of you, you know, your regular principal and interest payment, the extra lump sum, as we would call it, that yeah. money gets applied directly to your principal. It actually Same attacks your mortgage loan. It goes yeah. right down. Uh, it goes right down does not go towards interest and secondly as well too like if you're if you're the type that maybe lump sum doesn't work out also know that with majority of lenders they also allow you to do payment increases so yeah. same logic applies where again depending on the lender it can be you know the amount that you can do as a payment increase can go anywhere between 10 percent uh, sometimes up to 20 sometimes we have lenders that allow you to do a double up payment and just yeah. keep in mind any dollar that is over and above your principal and interest payment that again will also apply to your principal so helping you pay down your mortgage a lot sooner absolutely and and you can use some lenders will allow you to use both together there's there's not or in between there's and in between so you can do a lump sum and basically a also increase your payment up to the same amount, let's say 20% or 15% or 10, right? That is basically a win-win scenario as a client where you are paying off your mortgage faster. And that's why it's called as a prepayment privilege because the bank is giving you that um, window or let's say amount that you can prepay and you don't have to pay interest on that money. The same time you make that payment, there's no interest charge on that money. So this this uh, strategy has worked out many different times uh, for clients to be mortgage free faster. And then in case of, let's say it, it, this topic will lead to many different things. Like let's say a client is basically making payments every calendar year and now suddenly they have to withdraw money for anything extra down the lane, let's say renovations or uh, kids going to school or vacation, then you can go to the bank and you can ask for a home equity line of credit against the same money that you have paid in the past. Like, let's say even the values stay the same. Uh, there would be some room because you have prepaid extra ahead of the time. So you would you may have an option for a home equity line of credit. So which is again for a different time we could discuss about that. But mm -hmm. yeah, Kim, you would have uh, you have anything extra to yep. add to that? Yeah. Okay. I would say like, yes, um, you, and just remember too, like if you do want to take advantage of that, full application um, does does apply though, right? So just make yeah. sure that you're prepared that you will have to do an application income credit checks to take advantage of the line of credit. Now, yeah. you know, still staying on the same topic of making, making you mortgage free faster. If let's say you can't take advantage of the lump sum pay downs, right? Or maybe you can't take advantage of the payment increases. Another option that I like to tell my clients is maybe Maybe look into accelerated payments or even just doing bi-weekly payments. A lot of people underestimate this, but if in when getting a mortgage, you are allowed to do monthly payments, bi-weekly payments, or weekly, right? Those are standard options that you get with lenders. But um, in any case, though, if you can't take advantage of the lump sum payments or even the payment increases, try looking at doing bi-weekly payments. The way that it works is in a year, there's going to be 26 payments. So you know how sometimes if you you get paid bi-weekly there's a month where you get three payrolls well mm -hmm. in the case of a mortgage there's going to be three mortgage payments in that one month now with that very small change, um, I want all of our listeners to know that it could actually help you reduce your amortization, aka reduce the time um, until you're mortgage free. So by doing that small change, don't underestimate it. It can definitely help you out if those other options aren't available to you at this time. Yeah, it goes long way. It's it's not a like e like let's say short term. Uh, you won't see the results very very soon short term wise right but if you as what Kim has mentioned if you basically go from a monthly payment to an accelerated weekly or accelerated bi-weekly payment 
long term, you will see the results of that a small change, like increasing your payment by, let's say, fifty, sixty dollars every payment will make a big impact in the long term. You will see some reduction in number of years. You will be mortgage free earlier uh, as projected on the, let's say, amortization schedule. Right. So, yeah. Hmm. So I guess that concludes here, guys. Thanks for taking the time to listen to us. And we're hoping that you guys get mortgage free faster and sooner. If you Absolutely. want any additional tips, feel free to reach out to myself or Preet. We're always here for you. And uh, we can't wait until you pay off your mortgage. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Next time. Bye, guys. Bye.